So milestone year for the Rockies. Uh, obviously today, the home opening day is always one of the biggest party days across the city uh, here in Denver. So the game gets started at 210. The festivities get started much earlier. The gates will open to the stadium if you're coming down here at noon uh, with all of the pregame festivities starting at 1.30. There will be a flyover and members of the Air Force Academy will be singing the national anthem. But as you mentioned, yeah, celebrating 30 years in the major leagues. Of course, they started at Mile High Stadium for two years the 93 and 94 seasons before they came to Coors Field in 1995. Uh, a lot of memories since then. I had a chance to talk to Rockies uh, Community Relations Director Jim Kellogg how they plan to celebrate throughout the season. And what do you have planned to celebrate? So we're going to celebrate all kinds of stuff over the course of the season. We're going to bring back some of our players five different nights and celebrate the moments and milestones in our history. Uh, we're going to have a lot of giveaways with 30th anniversary giveaways. For our fans, we're going to honor fans who have been with us for 30 seasons and, and, you know, do all kinds of things to just celebrate being a franchise in Colorado. Yeah, he said the defining moment in franchise history for him was when Todd Helton received the throw from Troy Tulowitzki back in 2007, raising their fist in the air and dogpiling uh, in the infield as the Rockies clinched their only World Series berth to date in 2007. Uh, they do plan to bring back other players, Larry Walker, Dante Bichette, Ellis Burks, all uh, planning to make special appearances throughout the season. Coors Field, interesting to note, is the third oldest stadium in the National League. Uh, hard to believe because it still looks new, it feels new, it's always a great game day atmosphere, but uh, Wrigley Field and Dodger Stadium are the only two in the National League, at least, that are older than Coors Field. There are several in the American League, uh, but, of course, Wrigley Field is older than Coors Field by several decades.